I'm here with today's bedtime story. Welcome. And we have a children's story today, The Large and Growly Bear. And this story is written by Gertrude Crampton and illustrated by John P. Miller. The Large and Growly Bear. Once there was a bear, a, once there was a large and growly bear. And one spring morning, he woke up with nothing to do. I know, said the large and growly bear, I will find someone to frighten. That is just what a large and growly bear needs. So the large and growly bear went growling and prowling and scowling, looking for someone to frighten. And what did he see? I wonder. What did he see? He saw the bluebirds. The bluebirds were easy, for it was spring and they were flying here and pulling up a worm there and hurrying home to their babies. I can frighten the bluebirds, said the large and growly bear. He took a breath and it came out. Grrr. And growly bear, that's not very nice. I like the birds. Shh, said the bluebirds. You'll wake the babies. But I mean it, said the large and growly bear. I am frightening you. Not now, said the bluebirds. We are too busy flying here and pulling up a worm there and hurrying home to our babies. Find someone else to frighten. That was a good idea from the bluebirds. They're too busy. Well, I never, said the large and growly bear to himself. There must be someone I can frighten. So the large and growly bear went growling and prowling and scowling, looking for someone to frighten. And what did he see? He saw the rabbits. The rabbits were happy for it was spring. They were jumping here and hopping there and bouncing like balls with pink ears. <laughs> They're super cute. Very cute. I can frighten rabbits, said the large and growly bear. So he took a big breath and it came out. Grrr, shh, said the rabbits. You'll mix us up. We are counting our bouncing, but I mean it, said the large and growly bear. I am frightening you. Counting their bouncing. Wow. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Not now, said the rabbits. We are too busy jumping here and hopping there and bouncing like balls with pink ears. Find someone else to frighten. Well, I never said the large and growly bear to himself. There must be someone I can frighten. So the large and growly bear went growling and prowling and scowling, looking for someone to frighten. And what did he see? What did he see? He saw the moles. They were little and soft as silk, for it was spring. They were digging dirt here and moving dirt there and making tunnels halfway to China. I can frighten moles, said the large and growly bear. So he took a great breath and it came out. Grrr. I never touched a mole in the spring. I didn't know that they were so soft as silk. Shh, said the moles. You will shake the tunnels to China. But I mean it, said the large and growly bear. I'm frightening you. Not now, said the moles. We are too busy digging dirt here and moving dirt there and making tunnels halfway to China. Find someone else to frighten.
with a large and growly bear? A large and growly bear must have someone to frighten. He just must. The large and growly bear was very tired and cross and growly. But all at once he had an idea. Fish are never too busy to be frightened, said the large and growly bear. I will go to the silver shining river and I will find some little fish and I will frighten them half to death. Well, that's super not nice. Huh? Half to death. Poor little fish. The large and growly bear went walking softly, softly. The large and growly bear went walking softly, softly. He held all his breath for an enormous grrrr. At last, the large growly bear came to the silver shining river. The large and growly bear still held his breath for an enormous grrrr. Then the large growly bear looked, <coughs> hurt my throat. And the large and growly bear looked into the sh silver shining river. He did not see the little fish. <coughs> <coughs> he saw. <laughs> what did he see? Can you guess what he saw? He saw a large and growly bear. and claws, said the large and growly bear. Suddenly, he felt very small. He didn't feel growly, but he did feel like hurrying. <laughs> Hurry, he cried. Hurry away from the large and growly bear. So he hurried. Fly, he shouted to the bluebirds. Hop, he shouted to the rabbits. Dig, he shouted to the moles. The bluebirds and rabbits and the moles laughed. They knew the silver shining river and the tricks it played. Did you find someone to frighten, they called? Yes, said the large and growly bear. Who, said the bluebirds and the rabbits and the moles and the large growly bear? poked his nose out of his door, and he cried in a small, not growly voice, me. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed our story, and let us close with our bedtime prayer. Now I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Guide me gently through the night and wake me with the morning light. Amen. I hope you sleep well and we'll see you tomorrow.